Hi everyone, I'm Sebi, I'm a developer advocate at Ivan, and today I will show you how we can capture data changes from a MySQL service and put that into a Kafka topic. We will be using a really cool tool called Dibisian. Are you ready? Okay, let's go then. So I'm basing my uh, video on this article that you can find back the link in the description and I will follow along and so at any time, if you want to replay what I'm showing you, you just can go back to this article and follow all the instructions. So we need different services. We need a MySQL service. We need a Kafka service and we need a Kafka Connect service. So let's create those and then we will be able to start capturing data. So I go here to my uh, Ivan console. If you don't have an account for an Ivan um, to, to the Ivan platform, use the link in the description. It's a special link. It will give you some extra credits. And remember, we have a free plan for MySQL, Postgres, and Redis. Anyway, let's start creating our services. So what I need is, first of all, a MySQL service. So I can go for the plan I want, the cloud I want. Uh, let's go for the defaults here and let's call it MySQL CDC. And I just hit create service. There we go. And that will create my service. And then I need another one. I need a Kafka service. So let me click Kafka. There we go. And I will call this one here Kafka CDC. Oh, CDC. There we go. I hit create service and now my uh, both service will getting uh, created. Okay. If I go back here and I just filter on CDC, we can see they are getting built at pretty fast. It's a few minutes, uh, but for to keep the video short, I will come back right after when the services are um, be, are ready to, to run. Okay. See you in a few. Okay, so uh, both services are running, so we can move on. And um, I need to do some changes on the Kafka uh, site. I have to enable some stuff, so it's pretty easy. Uh, I can enable uh, Apache Kafka REST. That's really useful. You will see that in a few moments. I enable also the registry. Okay. And really important, I need to go to advanced configuration and say that I want to have auto creation of topics, which is here. And I just enable that. Cool. Okay. And then I also need to create a Kafka connect server. For that, I just go to integration. And for this, let me. Here I say, I want an Apache Kafka Connect. I just click, I say, I want a new one. Okay. And I continue. And here I give it a name, Kafka, C Kafka Connect CB CDC. And I do create and enable. Okay. That will create for me a Kafka uh, Connect component that is getting built. Okay. What is getting built? Let's go to our MySQL service here. And uh, let's try to connect to it to create a first table and add some data there. So how can I connect? So if I just click here on quick connect, I can grab that. And then I go to uh, a console here, my terminal, and I will, oh, you won't see it here. Let me just, just go here so, so that you can see it. Now I'm, I'm connected to my uh, database and I can start creating tables and et cetera. So the easiest is to go to the um, instructions here and to scroll a bit down, create and populate my MySQL table. So we are connected and that is what we want to do. We want to create a table called users and insert some users. So if I go there, I do that. I created my table and now I will insert some users. Great. Now my database is ready. It has some data. Now we are waiting for the Kafka Connect component to be ready. And once it will be ready, we will be able to create a connector that will listen to my database, listen to changes, okay? And report that on my Kafka cluster 
on a topic. Let's take a look. It's still rebuilding. So again, uh, I will uh, pause the video here and come back once the uh, Kafka Connect uh, service is running. Okay, so my Kafka Connect service is running now. So I will be able to create my connector. So let me go to the Kafka Connects here. And on the left side here, I have something called connectors. And I will be able to create a connector. So I have sync connectors here. It's not what we want. Sync connectors is if you want to put stuff from Kafka to another uh, data service, like uh, a database. We want to do the opposite. We want to read from a source our database and put it to Kafka. So we are looking for a source connector. And the one we want is the Debezium MySQL connector. I click on getting started. That brings me to this UI. So there are a few options here. You can uh, fill all of this in by hand on the UI. You can also just go here to the, uh, the article that I pointed. And you will have this file here that you can copy. And then you just have to replace all those values. OK, it takes some time. You have to be careful. I suggest you to open your different services in different tabs so you can easily grab everything. So I have already prepared that. And um, if we go here, uh, sorry, that's the one here. Yeah, that's the one. OK, I just do edit and I paste all the stuff here. And I click on apply. OK, and then I do create connector and that should create and start my connector. And it should start listening to my database and put stuff uh, and, and put stuff on my Kafka topic. So I can see that um, the connector is running. That's good news. OK, so uh, let's go uh, back to my uh, Kafka a server here and let's go to topics and look at this i have some topics that have been created here mysql source that we will maybe come back on that but the, the interesting one is mysql source dot default db my db dot users and there's some stuff there so if i uh fetch the messages and i say it's in avro format because yes i'm using sorry avro binary let me go again on avro let me fetch the messages i should see here exactly there we go i should see here uh different items after here so floor that is one that we added uh after here uh, anna okay and the third one here is francesco Awesome, it's working. So let's see uh, what happens if I insert a new a new row in my database. So I uh, go here to instructions. I can follow along here. Uh, let me grab this one and uh, let me do an insert here. Let me change the name. I'm Sabi. Let's do an insert. So that will do an insert in my SQL. Cool. And let's go back now to our Kafka. Uh, Kafka server and let me fetch the messages again. And now I should have four elements, correct? And my last element here, look, this is a Debezium structure, so you can see what happened after. Before nothing, because it was an insert. If I had did an, an update, for instance, I would have here the, the, the state of my role before, but here I just have an after, and you can see Username Sebi. As you can see, that is how easy it is to uh, perform CDC. Here I've, I'm capturing um, data that I insert in the table, but I can also capture changes that I would make to the schema. That can be really useful if you have other systems dependent on your database and they need to be informed when the structure, the schema of your database change. Okay. This is also explained here um, in this article. So altering the, the schema and um, we can say, hey, let's alter the table users and add a new column called country. Okay. So let me grab that and let me paste this here. This change a new column should also now be captured in my uh, Kafka uh, service. So if I go to my Kafka service 
And I, sorry, it's not here. I go to my topics and I go, for instance, to DDL history. I fetch all the messages. Okay, there we go. Uh, and if I take a look here, I get alter table at column country. So I can also capture those changes. That's it for me. Um, so what did we learn in this video is, well, how to set up a Kafka connector. The one that we use is called Debezium that can listen to a MySQL database, capture the changes and put them on a Kafka topic. Again, all the links will be in the description. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see other cool videos. And I wish you an awesome day. Bye-bye.